everyone, my name is Yunita Adrianti. Let's talk about bilingualism and also multilingualism. Bilingualism is the ability to use two languages. It can be by the group of speaker or an individual. The person who has this ability is called a bilingual. A bilingual is considered uh, as a person who has abilities in speaking, interacting, uh, reading, and understanding two languages in their daily life. But it is not only the case. Between these two languages, a bilingual usually uh, has a better understanding or knowledge about one language than the other one. Therefore, it is important to classify bilinguals into several classifications. So the first classification is early and late bilingual. Early bilingual, it refers to children uh, who acquired more than one language uh, uh, before the age of six. There are two types. The first one is simultaneous early bilingual. It happens when a child, uh, when a child acquired two languages at the same time uh, since they were a baby. And the second one is successive uh, early bilingual. It happens when a child uh, acquired the first language partially, and then he or she learned the second language early in childhood. Meanwhile, late bilingual refers to a child who learned and acquired the second language after the age of six or seven. It is usually uh, acquired in formal education. And the second classification is dominant and balanced uh, bilingual. Balanced bilingual refers to a bilingual who has the same level of proficiency or the same level of proficiency and mastery in both languages. Meanwhile, uh, dominant bilingual is a bilingual who has a higher proficiency in one language more than the other in uh, more than in the other one. And the third classification is compound and coordinate compound and coordinate uh, bilingual. Coordinate bilingual uh, means that a child learned and acquired uh, two languages separately in separate environment. So these two languages um, remain separate in her or his mind. And uh, meanwhile, compound bilingual refers to a bilingual that they see or he cannot detect the concept uh, conceptual differences between two languages. It is usually occur when both languages are bilingual and both uh, I mean both parents are uh, bilingual and both parents speak in uh, two languages with their child. Uh, so the fourth classification is additive and subtractive bilingual. Additive bilingual refers to a bilingual who learned the second language um, without losing the proficiency in the first language. And um, the second one is a subtractive uh, bilingual. It refers to a child, it refers to a bilingual who acquired second language, but at the same, at the same time, uh, their proficiency in the first language uh, decreased. And the last one is passive bilingual. It refers to a bilingual who uh, understand both language written and uh, written and spoken, but they can, uh, but he or she cannot speak in both language in these two languages. one is multilingualism. So multilingualism is the ability to use uh, three or more languages. It can be by the, uh, an individual or a group of speakers. A person who has this ability is called multilingual. So the important factor that affect uh, an individual to be a, a, a multi multilingual is because globalization. So in this globalization era, an individual is required to, to be able to communicate in more than one language. And there are three benefits to become a multilingual. The first one is uh, having, they have 
better understanding uh, of how language work the second one is uh, they have more efficient and better develop um, executive control system in the brain and the last one is they have greater uh, cognitive flex flexibility that's all about bilingualism and multilingualism i hope you can understand my explanation but don't hesitate don't hesitate to uh, give comment uh, asking question or suggestion in the comment below thank you